Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Jim Fahad. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use custom CSS code on Elementor free version. First of all, if you want to use custom CSS code efficiently into your Elementor website, then I highly suggest you to use Elementor Pro. Because it's less time consuming, you don't need to select CSS selector or CSS classes manually, it will save you a lot of time. Not only that, you will get tons more extra features, their support, if you use Elementor Pro. If you don't have Elementor Pro already, I will put the Elementor Pro link in the description. You can get your Elementor Pro through that link. But in this tutorial, I will show you how to use custom CSS codes on Elementor free version. And I will show you three different methods for that. Let's now start with the method number one. And you should use this method if you only want to change your custom CSS for a single page, not for the whole website. So let's first go to a single page. I'm on my WordPress dashboard right now. So from pages, I'm going to all pages. And like I said earlier, this method is for using the CSS only on a single page. So here I only want to use this custom CSS on this landing page. Let's now open this page with Elementor. So I'm clicking here, edit with Elementor. I'm opening it from a new tab. So right now we are inside Elementor page builder and I want to use some custom CSS on this area and I want to do any crazy CSS coding here. I want to only show you where to put your custom CSS codes. So here inside this section we can see some heading 3. Like if we now click on this icon box, here you can see this one is a H3 tag. Also, if we click on this one, this one is also a heading 3 tag. So basically all these are heading 3 tags. Now I want to do some custom CSS with all these heading 3s. So first of all, actually I want to do a backup of this whole section. So I'm just cloning this section, right click here and click on duplicate. I'm just taking a backup of this section in case if I make any mess here. All right. Now let's do some custom CSS. So first of all, let's click on this Rubik's Cube icon. And here I'm searching for HTML widget. Here it is. Now we can drag this HTML widget anywhere in this page. So I'm just dropping it at the above of this section here. Now here's the place on the left here you can put your CSS code. And to put your CSS code first you need to write a style tag here. And now in between these beginning and closing style tags I will write the custom CSS code. So first let's grab the selector of these heading 3s. So I'm just minimizing the Elementor editor here. Let's now right click on this heading 3 and click on inspect. So from this browser inspecting tool, now we can see the right class name of this heading 3. So it's Elementor icon box title. I'm just copying it. Now let's close the inspect tab here and let's expand the Elementor editor. So here first I'm putting a dot and then pasting the name of the class of h3 and then inside this curly bracket I'm writing here for instance color then red. And as it's not a crazy CSS tutorial so I don't want to make it complex. So just to override all other CSS properties I'm writing here important Boom, now all the heading 3s are color red. Awesome. But now if we scroll down, here you can see all other heading 3 tags got this color red CSS. But we don't want that. We only want to apply this CSS on this top section, not on this below section. So to do that, I want to add a custom CSS class on this section. So let's just click on the 6 dots. Now go under advanced tab here and here you can see CSS classes. So let's just name it red h3. You can name it anything you want. So now I'm just copying it and go back to custom CSS. So here before the heading 3 class name, I want to put the parent class name that's red h3. Now if we scroll down here you can see these heading 3s are not getting those red colors. Only these above sections H3s are getting the red color. Let's now click on this update button to save our custom CSS. So following this method you can use any custom CSS code on Elementor free version. Let's now go to our second method. 
and for our second method we will be using a plugin so let's first install that plugin so from plugin let's now click on add new and here i'm searching for code snippets this one the first one code snippets let's now click on install now and activate it so after activating on the left bar here you can see snippets from there let's now click on all snippets and using this plugin you can write html css or javascript snippets as we're going to write some custom css code so here you will find an example css snippet so let's now have a look on that i'm clicking on edit and i just wanna copy this code for later use so i'm just copying it and now i wanna write a snippet of my own so from the top here i'm clicking on add new snippet and here you can put any title i'm writing here elementor custom css and here i'm pasting that example css code and here you can see inside right here css code here let's now write some custom css code here in this place so again i'm going back to elementor page builder and this time using the plugin we have just installed i want to change the color of these icons so first i want to grab the class name of these icons and you already know i will use the inspect tool to grab the class name of this icon so let's just minimize it right click over this icon and click on inspect here here you can see the class name so i'm just copying the class name from here and i'm going back to that plugin here let's now just paste the class name here and inside the curly braces again i want to type color red and to override other css i'm writing here important to make it work from the top right click here on activate and if we now go back to the landing page and refresh the page here we go now all the icons are also red but again if we scroll down here you can see all the below icons also got the red color because on the plugin snippets here we have not put the parent class name here so let's just copy the class name from here again let's now just expand the elementor builder and let's now click on the six dots from under advanced tab here is the class name that's red h3 i'm just copying it again and here inside the snippets of that plugin right here before the class name of the icons i'm putting the parent sections class name here and let's now click on save changes now let's go back to the landing page and refresh the page now here we go now only the top sections icons are red as we have put the parent section class name inside that snippet cool now i want to show you the third method so for this method we will be using our wordpress theme customizer so i'm going back to our dashboard so from the left bar from appearance let's now go to customize and right now we are inside theme customizer i'm using hello theme but no matter which theme you are using you will always find this additional css tab inside your theme customizer option so i'm expanding the additional css field here here in this place you can write any custom css code so this time let's say we wanna change the color of all these texts so again i just wanna grab the class name of these paragraphs and you already know just right click here and click on inspect and this paragraphs class name is elementor icon box description so i'm just copying the class name from here and now go inside theme customizer css option so let's first put the parent class name here that's red h3 and then i'm putting the paragraph class name here then inside curly braces then here let's write again color red and i want to override all previous color properties so i'm just typing here important and this time click here on this publish button to save our work and let's go back to our landing page now refresh the page here we go all the paragraphs inside this section became red color awesome
So following these methods, you can write any custom CSS codes on your Elementor based website using only Elementor free version. If you like it, please give this video a big thumb up and don't forget to subscribe this channel. Also, you can click on that bell icon so you will get notified before anyone whenever I will upload any new video on this YouTube channel. And if you need any kind of help for your website or if you wanna build a website from scratch, then you can contact me through my website that's jimfahaddigital.com. I will see you in the next video. For now, bye bye.